everybody, it's Thursday today. Now, we are going to have a couple of Mist Men books today and tomorrow. So, our first one for today is Mr Busy. There has never been anybody quite like Mr Busy. He could do things ten times as fast as ever you or I could. For instance, if he was reading a book, he'd have finished it by now. He lived in a very busy looking house which he'd built himself, as you can see. It had lots of doors and windows and do you know what it was called? Weekend Cottage. Do you know why? Because that's how long it took him to build it. One fine summer morning, Mr Busy was up and about, bright and early at six o'clock. He jumped out of bed and had a bath and cleaned his teeth and cooked his breakfast and ate his breakfast and read the paper and washed up and made his bed and cleaned the house from top to bottom, by which time it was seven o'clock. Busy, Mr Busy. Now, Next door to Mr Busy lived someone who wasn't quite such a busy person. In fact, a very unbusy person, Mr Slow. If he was reading this book, he'd read it like this. He'd still be on the first page. And th that same fine summer morning at five past seven, when Mr Busy knocked at his door, Mr Slow was fast asleep in bed. He'd gone to bed for an afternoon nap the day before and somehow hadn't woken up until he heard Mr Busy knocking at his door. Who's that knocking at my door? He called downstairs. Good morning, cried Mr Busy. Can I come in? And without waiting for an answer, he went inside. Where are you? he called. Up stairs, came the slow reply. So Mr Busy went upstairs, two at a time. Good heavens, he said, you're still in bed. And he made Mr Slow get up and he made his bed for him and cooked his breakfast for him and cleaned his house for him. Poor Mr Slow, he hated to be rushed and fussed. Right, said Mr Busy briskly. It's a fine day. Let's go for a picnic. Mr Slow pulled a face. I don't like picnics, he complained. Nonsense, replied Mr Busy and busied himself around Mr Slow's kitchen making up a picnic for the two of them. It took him a minute and a half. Right, he cried when he finished. Off we go. And he bustled Mr Slow out of his front door and off they set. As you can imagine, Mr Busy walks extremely quickly and as you can imagine, Mr Slow doesn't. So by the time Mr Busy had walked a mile, do you know how far Mr Slow had walked? To his own garden gate. Mr Busy hurried back. Come on, he cried impatiently. Hurry up. Hurry up, replied Mr Slow. Im, pos, i, bull. Oh, all right, said Mr Busy. We'll have a picnic in your garden. Wait a minute, though, he added. The grass needs cutting. And he rushed back to Weekend Cottage and rushed back again with his lawnmower and rushed up and down cutting Mr Slow's garden. It took him two and a half minutes. It would have taken him two minutes, but he had to mow around Mr Slow, who couldn't get out of the way in time. Right, cried Mr Busy. Picnic time! And together on that fine summer day, they had a fine picnic. Well, actually, Mr Busy had a finer picnic than Mr Slow because he ate more quickly and had most of the food. Mr Busy stretched out on the grass. That was fun, he said. I like picnics. You do? I don't, said Mr Slow. Tell you what, went on Mr Busy, ignoring him. Tomorrow we'll go on a proper picnic out in the country. Mr Slow pulled a face and went on Mr Busy, in order to do that and to get you out into the country, I'll have to call for you earlier than I did this morning. Mr Slow pulled another face. See you tomorrow then, said Mr Busy 
and went home and cleaned his house from bottom to top. The following morning, Mr Busy jumped out of bed at five o'clock and had a bath and cleaned his teeth and cooked his breakfast and ate his breakfast and read the paper and washed up and made his bed and cleaned the house from top to bottom, by which time it was six o'clock. He went and knocked on Mr Slow's front door. Come on, come on, he cried, time to be up and about, it's picnic day! No reply. Come on, cried Mr Busy again. No reply. Mr Busy went inside and went upstairs, three at a time, and into Mr Slow's bedroom, expecting to find him in bed, but he wasn't. And he wasn't anywhere upstairs. And he wasn't anywhere downstairs. Bother, said Mr Busy. I wonder where he's got to. Where Mr Slow had got to was under his bed. Hiding. He didn't want to go on any picnic. Not he. Bother, said Mr Busy again. That means I'll have to go on a picnic on my own. Under his bed, Mr Slow smiled a slow smile. What a good idea, he said, and went to sleep, snoring very slowly. The end. Ah, oh, that's a lovely one. Mr Busy, keeping himself very, very busy with Mr Slow. Well, I hope you enjoyed our story. And I'll see you again later, but don't forget to subscribe and like the Facebook page at facebook.com slash isolation station for children. And I'll see you soon.